Oh, hey friends, welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you three fun, easy fall cocktails made with beer. Grab your beer, meet me here. Three cocktails, pretty straightforward. Hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes, and let's make some fun fall beer cocktails. To the bar. All right, beer cocktails. What is there to say? This time of year, I think about beer cocktails. That's just the way it is. I enjoy drinking beer. I watch American football and I like to have a little beer with my football. And I enjoy cocktails. So I see nothing wrong with merging the two. So let's get started. All right, so number one, the rattle skull. This dates back to a long time ago, like 300 years ago. I talked about the history once before. So if you do want to dig in about the history, I would recommend checking out that video. For this cocktail, you will need Jamaican rum, cognac, lime juice, a rich demerara syrup, a porter or stout, and a little nutmeg. This is gonna be garnished right on top. Use a cognac you like, use a rum you like. I like a Jamaican rum with this because it has nice bold flavor that holds up to the rich syrup, the citrus, the porter or stout. What am I using today? It's called the Fat Pug Oatmeal Milk Stout from Maplewood Brewery, local for me. Lime juice fresh, rich demerara syrup. So this is two parts sugar to one part water with that we can build. Now, years ago, they would have just thrown all this together into a mug. I'm going to shake up the citrus and the syrups and the base spirits, and then we will merge it with the beer. We'll start with the rum. One ounce of Jamaican rum, one ounce of cognac. We'll go half an ounce of the rich demerara syrup and three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice. Now we can add ice and shake. All right, I'd say 10 to 15 seconds. You just wanna add some air, mix everything together, give it a slight dilution. Get yourself a nice big glass. If it's cold, that's great. It doesn't have to be cold. To that glass, we can add 12 ounces of your stout or porter. And this can is more than 12 ounces, so I'm just eyeballing it. You can always top it off if we need more. So a little bit left. And then we can carefully pour the cocktail right into the beer. Ooh. Now, the garnish the grated nutmeg. And this is really nice on this drink because you go in for a sip and you get this nice fragrant nutmeg. There we have the rattle skull. Cheers. Mmm, rich, stout, bright citrus. The nutmeg is really nice. The rum and the cognac kind of take a back seat. You definitely get beer up front. It's really good. I'm gonna keep this by my side, but we can get this stuff off and we're gonna move on to the next one, which is an original of mine, but it's kind of loosely based on another drink called a stone fence, which is as old as the rattle skull. That drink calls for hard cider, but I'm using all beer today. So I call this one the fence hopper because it's like the stone fence and we're adding hops. That's the hopper. It's a really good name. For the fence hopper, we are gonna need bourbon, fresh lemon juice, apple cider, maple syrup, Angostura bitters, and an IPA. The bourbon I'm using, Elijah Craig. I just like it in the drink. Whatever your favorite bourbon is, that'll be perfect. Lemon juice, just like the last one with fresh lime. This one is fresh lemon. Apple cider, a good non-alcoholic apple cider. Maple syrup, good maple syrup. Angostura bitters, this is actually pretty important in this drink. Why I like Angostura bitters here is because of the clove. And then the IPA. This is up to you. Grab a local one, grab your favorite one. I'm using Temperance Gate Crasher, which is local to me, into the tin. Let's start with the bourbon. One ounce of bourbon. To that, let's add one ounce of the apple cider, half an ounce of maple syrup, quarter of an ounce of lemon juice, and two good dashes of Angostura bitters. I'm not using my dasher bottle, only because this is here. I could use a dasher bottle if I wanted to. I would probably go like four dashes. What else? All we have left to add is the beer, so we are gonna add ice and shake. We're gonna serve this one differently. Actually, we're serving all three of these differently. What's that saying? Uh, the spice of life, the variations, no. Variety, variety is the spice of life. That was seamless, well done, Otters. I am gonna serve this in a jar with a big lump of ice. So now we can open our beer. Oops, that's okay. I did drop this on the floor a little earlier. Don't do that to yours. Strain this off over the cube and we're gonna add, say, three to four ounces of the beer. Yeah, be gentle with it, there we go. Remember, you can always add more beer as you go. If you need to balance it out, you want a little bit more of that hoppy bitterness. Garnish, I'm gonna add a cinnamon stick. I'm gonna be fancy. Oh, the fence hopper, cheers. 
Mm. This is gonna be a crowd pleaser. You get these apple pie spices with the Angostura bitters, even just that little bit of cinnamon in there. The bourbon and the apple cider work great. I chose to go with an IPA here because I like that hoppy bitterness on the end. I like it on the big cube of ice. So I must say that is pretty good. If you like fall, if you like apples, if you like pie, if you like cool afternoons with a game of football on. Now this last drink I call the Lumberjack in Love. And it isn't just a clever name for a drink that I came up with. It's actually named after a play, a small play in Wisconsin. This is gonna be good if you have any Oktoberfest lying around. And the flavor we're gonna go for here is cherry and rye whiskey. For this drink, you are gonna need rye whiskey, an allspice liqueur, cherry juice, fresh lemon juice, simple syrup, and an Oktoberfest beer. Rye whiskey, I'm using Rittenhouse rye, which is a little higher proof, offers a good amount of spice in the drink. Allspice liqueur, this is really good with the cherry juice. Happens to be Montmorency cherry juice, if you're wondering, but other tart cherry juices will work well. No sugar added, we will add that ourselves. Lemon juice, freshly squeezed. This simple is the semi-rich simple that I usually use, one and a half parts sugar to one part water, but if you have a straight one-to-one -one simple, that's gonna be great too. The Oktoberfest I'm using is from Spiteful Brewing. Remember, you can get all of these bottles on my collection at Kiriata. They will ship these bottles to you, not the beer. They don't do beer. Support your local brewery. Let's build. Into the tin, we will start with the rye. One ounce of rye. To that, we will add half an ounce of the allspice liqueur, two ounces of the tart cherry juice, quarter of an ounce of fresh lemon juice, and quarter of an ounce of simple syrup. Add ice and shake. The usual, 10 to 15 seconds. I'm gonna serve this in a Collins glass. So if you have a chilled Collins glass, get it now. I'm gonna pour in about four ounces of our Oktoberfest. Gently pour the cocktail into the beer. Careful, because it's gonna wanna foam up. It's gonna be a slow process. Got a little bit of room, so I'm just going to top it with the Oktoberfest. And I'm gonna garnish with the cherry. There it is, Lumberjack in love. Cheers. Ooh, oh, that's really good. Mm. The cherry and malt definitely get the allspice. Has a similar pie flavor of the previous one, but this is just really fresh, bright, tastes like fall. So there we are, three beer cocktails. Fun, enjoyable, tasty. Like and subscribe, thank you for watching. Happy fall, get your beer, support your local breweries. I'll see you next time. Cheers. By the way, we have a Patreon now. Some people have been asking and we have one. So head on over, thank you for the support. Keep watching the videos, we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.